we're going to look at 10.2 question number 22 and this question they give us a point on the unit circle they don't give us any information whatsoever about the coordinates other than their names are a and b so we don't even know what quadrant this point is in and then they're asking for the x y coordinates of a point based on a different angle so one of the angles is x minus or uh, pi minus t, another one is just minus t. So we're actually going to deal with this minus t first. So what I've done, I've just put a point on the unit circle. I did choose it in quadrant one, but it doesn't actually matter what quadrant this points in. I'm not assuming a or b are positive or negative or anything. So first thing we're going to try to do is think about what happens when the angle goes from t to negative t. So regular T rotates in the counterclockwise direction. So negative T is going to rotate the opposite direction. And let's go ahead and go with the green here. So what I'm drawing here is negative T. Now, what are the coordinates down here? Well, let's think about what changed. If we look at the original point, the X coordinates shouldn't change. So we're going to get regular just a for the x-coordinate. However, the y-coordinate went from positive to negative. So that means our b is actually going to be negative b. So that's the answer for uh, when angle is negative t. Our point is a comma negative b. All right, the other part of the question is what happens when we have pi minus t. So let's think of this as pi plus a negative t. When you add two angles together, you do the first rotation and then the second rotation. So on this graph, the first rotation, we can uh, add either order. We could write it as negative t plus pi. So we'll just think in that order. We'll Negative t is already performed on the graph right there. Now what I'm going to do is rotate pi. This is a half rotation, so it doesn't actually matter which way you rotate because we're going halfway around, but I'm going to rotate the correct way, which is the counterclockwise or positive way. So we start with our uh, first angle, do negative t, and then rotate halfway around in the counterclockwise direction and what we're left with is this angle over here in quadrant two. So again we went negative t first and then half a rotation. All of these had the same reference angle. So if you think in terms of reference angle they all have the exact same reference angle which would be uh, t. The coordinates of this point that I drew over here are going to be slightly different, and I don't want to ruin the problem for you, uh, but you should be able to tell which coordinate went negative and which coordinate stayed positive. For the last part, when you add a 2 pi, that's a full rotation, so you would get back to where you started. Hopefully this helps you.